Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. I hereby give notice that on Thursday, the 14th of September 2023, I shall ask the Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, the Honorable Netumbo Nandi Daitwa, the following. Elections in Zimbabwe have over the years been tainted by claims of irregularities, voter suppression and a lack of transparency. And the elections held on the 23rd to the 24th of August were no different. That is why, Honorable Speaker, when President Denkov was the first president in SADC to congratulate MSN Nagagwa on a disputed election, it raised concern. This action by President Genko is inconsistent with Namibia's long-standing commitment to democratic principles and human rights, both, both regionally and internationally. Moreover, moreover, Honorable Speaker, the preliminary subject observer mission report on the elections came, came to a damning conclusion that aspects of the elections fell short of the requirements of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, the Electoral Act, and the SADC principles and guidance governing democratic elections. I therefore ask the Honorable Minister the following. Number one. Order, order please. Can I be protected, Honorable Speaker? Can I? The Prime Minister is bullying me. Number one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Order. Order. Honest. Order. 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 Order, please. Mr. Prime Minister. Can I, can I suggest? Can I suggest? Honestly, that level of noise making Unacceptable. will bring us down in terms of image. We don't, we don't need that. You don't need that. No, honestly speaking, we don't need that. Exactly. We 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 accept. We <laughs> there is always constitution of Zimbabwe, the electoral act, and the static principles and guidance governing democratic elections. Honestly, on, <laughs> please let's have order. Let's have order, please. Number two. Please go and continue. Why? Secondly, why does why does President Dinkop and the Namibian government keep supporting autocratic and despotic regimes yeah. like the one in Zimbabwe that do not align with our democratic values and ethos as Namibian society? Thirdly, 